we decided to um, use apprenticeships within our business because we thought it gave like our staff the opportunity to learn sort of theoretical skills um, that sort of uh, complement their day to day jobs. Um, so that will not only give them sort of the confidence to be able to develop key skills themselves, but also help our business in the long run um, in the services that we provide. And um, we also hope that it will kind of motivate our staff and show them that we value them as individuals and we want to develop their sort of skill sets, which again, will not only benefit them, but will also benefit us in the long run. And I think fundamentally as well, there's sort of there's so many opportunities for government funding that it's a great opportunity to be able to, to utilise this in a way that will upskill our staff and develop our workforce, which again will help our business to grow moving forward. Fundamentally, it's given them the confidence in their role and also sort of in their wider work because it's given them this theoretical grounding and also the sort of the confidence from us as an employer that we value them and we want them to improve and, and sort of grow as individuals. Um, and I think it's also the knowledge and that they gained from carrying out these apprenticeships. It's also enabled them to then be able to share this with their wider team. So again, spreading that knowledge and experience across our company, which is only going to benefit us in the long run. What it will do is it will give them the hands on experience um, to be able to to sort of develop in their own careers and again sort of support them to develop the skills and knowledge that is directly relevant to their jobs and I think confidence is a big thing that's come out from all of the apprenticeships that we currently carry out. We've noticed a big improvement in their sort of general day-to-day uh, -day competences and, and behaviour because they've had this theoretical grounding that will then help them within their other other work and tasks which again will not only benefit themselves as individuals but also benefit our business and the relevant departments to to improve and, and strive as we you know want to grow and in, into 2023. The area really here is that it's enabled us to upskill our workforce um, and it sort of forms part of our own continuous improvement programme within the business, which is not only looking at obviously growing our sales and uh, our revenue, but also developing our own our own staff. Um, and it's also enabled us to sort of match the, the skills that we need with the skills of our employees and sort of identify any any sort of gaps in, in knowledge and skills. And there's so many apprenticeships that are available. It's enabled us to sort of slot in apprenticeships with employees where it's applicable. And I think, and also it sort of does definitely raise staff morale because our staff recognise the fact that we want to improve not only our business as a whole but our employees are fundamental to this so if we can show that we're sort of training them and upskilling them then again that just sort of helps create this talent pipeline across the organisation and sort of give people that image not only externally but also internally that we want to we want to grow and become the best that we can possibly be and apprenticeships have definitely been a fundamental part of doing so. One main example, we've currently got somebody studying a procurement and supply apprenticeship um, and sort of from feedback I've had through regular meetings with them is it's again, it's, it's a confidence that's come out from that is that, you know, generally across the board, she's become a lot more confident in lots of different aspects of her role, but in particular sort of being able to liaise with suppliers and our key supply chain partners and sort of developing those communication skills and also sort of having that confidence that she's got the knowledge and the theoretical grounding to be able to have these conversations with people. And then also on the flip side of that, it's also given her this job specific enhancement. So it's given her the knowledge to be able to sort of work out reorder levels, safety stock levels, all things like that, which again is only something that's not only going to benefit her in her own learning and development programme, but it's also going to develop, help the business in the long run to sort of have this knowledge within our teams to be able to again, you know, sort of grow our own workforces and our business moving forward. It's a really, really effective way to be able to sort of grow talent and develop a motivated and skilled workforce. Um, and it's also a really good tool for talent attraction because, again, it's sort of like a highly effective route to be able to recruit um, new employees if it's if you sort of show that you're able to provide apprenticeships and create this 
this pipeline of talent across the organisation. Again, it's only going to help people think, I, you know, I'd like to come and work for you because I know that I'm not only I've not only got a safe and secure job, I've also got the opportunity to be able to learn more and develop more as an individual, which again supports the business in its own growth strategies to develop this workforce, which is suitably trained and motivated.